Hey guys, to start your color wheel, you need to get a piece of the white paper. It should be 12 by 18 inches, so bigger than normal paper. And you need this cardboard stencil-like thing. It should be on the counter somewhere. You'll need a pencil and a ruler. First step on this, really important, every one of these has a hole right in the middle of the stencil. So as you set this down on the paper, hold it in place. It's very important that you make that mark. So stick your pencil in there and wiggle it around for a second. Then you're going to trace the circle. And then you need to make a mark at every single place where the line intersects with that circle. If you think ahead for a second, you'll realize that when I remove this stencil, I'll have the marks and I'll have that dot in the center. Ta-da. I'm going to take my ruler now and I'm going to connect every single mark with the dot so that you basically end up with that same sort of pizza pie that you saw on the stencil you just used. So you can see how they all connect like that, go around the circle, do every single one of them. Now, I don't want to sit here and make you watch me do every single line, so let's talk about your next step. After you've done this, you need to create a design for your color wheel. The purpose of the design is to give me a spot in every piece of the pie. That shows me the pure color, the tint of that color, and the shade of that color. For example, if I'm talking about red, I've got a piece of the pie that's pure red. Inside that, I need also a tint of red. We know that means pink. And I need a shade of red. We know that means something more like maroon. So your design has to have space for those three colors in each piece of the pie. You're also going to be making all of your colors for this color wheel which means you should only ever be grabbing red, yellow, and black. Those are our, I'm sorry, red, yellow, and blue. Those are our primary colors. So you get to use red, yellow, blue, plus you need black to make shades, and you need white if you're making tints. So here's my uh, pizza pie, my color wheel. I'm going to start by labeling out all my colors, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue. Over here I've got blue, violet, violet, and then a red, violet. I recommend you do that first so you don't get confused and do your colors out of order. Now for the design. You could do something really complicated. I've done things with like the Disney logo, sports logos, my name, my school logo, any of that stuff works. But for simplicity's sake here, I'm just going to do a heart so you get the concept. So here's my heart. Inside my red piece of the pie, I've got one section, two sections. I've only got two places to paint a color. I need to be able to paint three. So let's do this again. I'll make a heart around my heart. Now I've got one, two, three three spaces inside this piece of the pie. That allows me to paint pure red, my tint of red, and my shade of red. So go ahead and stop the video, draw out your color wheel pie, give me some kind of a design that allows for three spaces in every single section.